Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't buy low profile tires. Now tires have gone a long way since the 1960s when I started working and I had motorcycles with spoke wheels and tube tires. Back then, most tires were just two ply. They weren't all that strong. You had tubes that get holes in it and you had to take the whole tire apart, patch the tube, put it back in. It was a pain. But then steel belted radial tires came out. They got much less punctures because of the steel belt and the radial tires were better and got better gas mileage. But then they came out with these low profile tires which they put on high end sports cars in the beginning. With their low profile tires, they corner really well and hug the road. And they're usually super wide like this, so they have lots of traction for hard acceleration. Now this is all fine if you like going fast and cornering quickly, but they've got the drawbacks of they ride really rough because they don't have a sidewall to absorb a lot of the shocks. And of course then they became popular with a lot of the kids. I had a customer and his teenage son got a Chevy S10 and he put the low profile tires and those giant rims on. Man, that thing would knock the fillings out of your teeth when you drove down the road. Eventually even he gave up and went back to normal tires after getting a ton of flats and breaking a bunch of rims. Because what a lot of people don't understand is your tires actually absorb a lot of the shock that you get when you're driving down the road. The sidewall flexes and takes a lot of the bumps out so you don't feel it when you're riding in the car. The lack of any real sidewall, these things are so tiny, there's very little resistance to bumps so they really ride poorly. And if you live in a big city like me or some place that just doesn't have money to fix the roads, potholes are death to those things. There's no sidewall really so when you hit a big hole a lot of times the tire will ram into the rim, break the rim, destroy the tire. The tires cost more and the rims are super expensive too. In the city look what happens. Not only does the rim get eaten up but the tires get chewed up all the time because they don't have much sidewall. They'll hit curbs, bumps on the road, will make them smash holes in them. Plus they're generally super wide. The wider the tire is, the more friction there is, the faster they're going to wear out. I've seen some of these things wear out in 15, 20,000 miles when normal tires might last 60, 70,000 miles. And let's say your front end alignment is a little bit off. With normal tires, it might not be that big of a deal. But with those tires, heck, if they're off just a little bit, they're going to wear out even faster and cost you more money. But if you want to drive your Ferrari or Maserati like a maniac, you're going to need these kind of tires. Well, for the rest of us, driving on normal family cars, stick to normal tires. And let the race car drivers have their low profile tires. You'll be happier with regular tires and a smooth ride. More quick fixes on the Scotty Kilmer channel. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.